divide by 3 or 4 or larger number will the time complexity reduce they are going to reduce but we are, we are not going to get exact value okay we are not going to get exact value 
Oh, you you are talking in terms of uh, uh, this one, or else only division you are talking. <coughs> that means whether I can if I from good divide the list into uh, divide by four or divide by five, so whether the com uh, uh, number of combines will be decreasing or not? Yes, the number of combines will be decreasing, but the, we are not going to get exact value. In terms of binary binary search, but but the what you say the what is time complexity will be reduced. Yes, the time complexity will be reduced. For any other, uh, for example, if you're taking any other problem, and you're going to divide the problem to four parts or five parts or six parts, then that that time complexity will be reduced. As per logic, we have defined. What is the logic? Okay. Yes, sir. Like, shall I move forward? Any, any, any others in the job? Okay. So now I'm, I'm going to discuss about passing an array value. To a function. Then the function the array nila pass them. How to pass an array to a function? Up to now we have seen in the function we have seen a single element to be passed. Then the if at all there is a variable called int a comma b. I have passed add up a comma b. This is where a is a single element, b is a single element. B is a let single variable element. But where array is a collection of elements. If at all if I am writing a of that. There are how many values are there with a? Ten values are there. Ten variables are there. How to pass that whole ten variables? Data pass one by one. Oh, so we have one technique. So we have one other, another method of doing that. So what is that doing? What is that? How to pass that whole value? We'll see. Okay, we are going to see. Okay. So in the declaration, in the declaration, so what is this normal way of declaration? How we have done? In the, for example, there's an integer return type. For example, the function is integer return type. Uh, in add int comma int where it is going to read two integer type of variables. Two integer type of variables. Semicolon. This is declaration. Declaration of the function. For example, there's a function called add. If you want to declare the normal declaration for passing a Regular variable. Remember, this is a regular variable, not an array variable. We have done like this. We have done like int add up, int comma. Int. But what we have to do if at all if we want to pass array value, just indicate an array. Indicate saying that array type of data. How to indicate? That is int. For example, if you are making a searching search which type of array it is integer type float type double type character type which type and with the subscript with with along with the array symbol brackets this says it is a type of array it indicates array type indicates array type which which, of which type is array integer array type integer array type integer array type if you want to pass another array so pass if you want to pass another float array float array type sir i want to write along with a variable sir you can write along with variable how to write along with the variable in search in a of open bracket close bracket float x of open bracket no need to mention any size, no need to tell compiler size. Sir, I want to tell size. Tell the size, but the size will be fixed out. The size will be fixed out. The same size you have to pass. Same size you have to pass. Okay, your same size you have to take. That is about a declaration. So this is declaring a integer type of variable. And the calling. And before calling, sir, what should we take same size? Uh, 
uh, if you declare int search of int f so int f 10 you have declared in the declaration the same size should be taken you cannot modify this okay. if we don't give any size it will you depend cannot. on input array sir input array yes. depend on input array if you give int int a and a of 10 only it will take first 10 variables that means you have to pass over 10 bits definition so in the definition same thing so in search so how the declaration is there how a declaration we have declared the declaration we discussed that declaration should be as int search int yeah open press close press just and int x of open press close press for example if you pass it to sir can i pass array variable along with any normal variable yes you can pass it for example in search in yeah and in n i'm passing the size along with this you can do any type of variable can be there along with this act in the search in same no need to change anything what is the variable so variable name can be changed so not giving any variable name is also here also in the declaration no okay but here we have to give a variable name but there is no a rule that the variables we have declared here and variables declared here should be same as it is sorry but write the logic what you want to write the logic return only integer type it. one value can be returned. any integer value can be returned. some x or some y value i'm writing that's it this is about a definition writing it but how to call for example there is a variable called so that is i have declared a array called in x of 10 and i have read the variable n it is size and a print type enter size i scan it i have read the size using the variable that is uh, ampersand n and print it and the array values scan it that directly cannot be for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus i'm giving example remember in the current is available in the example scan up percentage am present yeah five so x of one it is x i have declared with x variable so here i have declared x variable x of five so i'm going to close reading is done reading is done next uh after that i have to pass this function how to pass right same function name search and just a name of array no need to write anything just a name of array what is the name of array x but whereas in the normal variable how we write same thing a or b we write same thing just write a name of array no need to mention anything no need to mention it is array type no need to mention x so a the mention shall just write a name of array that will pass your whole array whole array from here to here whole array will be passed from here to here. okay this is about passing an array passing an array i can pass the with size and without size with size and without size also if you pass with size the size should be saved in the definition also what you size you, you say and remember no need to mention any size if you say here also in the declaration if you see the size is 10 
no need to tell any size here just pass a name of array that's it what is the name of array here what is the name of array i have discussed it. what is the name of array name of array is the internal pointer variable as it is internal pointer variable just pass as the base address it passes the base address by passing a base address it reads all the elements up to the given size ikkad size mention chesthe any size mention same size you have to read out there so size mention cheyali you are not mentioning any size it reads up to the whole array it read whole array it is total array and the size will be taken by this if i writing a thousand The thousand total memory location, thousand memory location will be passed. I mentioned what is the size? That many size will be passed. Okay, that's it. This is about to pass an array. The passing a a one dimensional array. This is only passing a one dimensional array to a function. Okay, how to pass one dimensional array? That is in the in the declaration. In the declaration you declare as the array type. How to declare as the array type? Just Data type which which you want which which data type array you want to pass. Remember it is it can be float value, it can be float array, it can be character array. But you have to mention it's an array. And the optional your name of variable the array variable is optional. If you want to write you can write. You can leave it click it click. And remember don't don't think that I can only pass array with only in the function. You can pass along with the array type. You can pass any other variable, any other single variable, any other type of variable also. Okay, that is. And after this, uh, the declaration in the calling, just you call and function uh, call the function by using a just array name. No need to mention anything. Just pass an array name. No need to write anything. Array size or array type or anything. You no need to write. Just write call the function by using a function name. Sorry, array name. Call the function using a function name with array name. No need to write a subscript or no need to write square brackets. No need to mention any size. And after passing, after uh, calling, and this is optional here. Here, if you want to mention a size, you have to mention size. If you are not mentioning the size, whole array will be passed. Whole array will be passed. Okay. And where the reference? Why this another reference is the size? What you mentioned. And here, the chicken work whole array will be passed. All the elements will be passed. And here, I put only in the under under elements. I put only ten elements to be read. So if you mention that that ten, so ten will be taken into account. Okay, that is the good the value. Okay, I'll write a simple example program to read the array value and to print the array value using a function.
This is my program. See what I've done here. Uh, this is my uh, main function. What is what is the main function? I've read the uh, array value. That is, I've I declared the array and size. I've read the size of an array. I've read the array values. And I've passed the array values to array to my function. And I'm printing that uh, using that function, I'm printing my array. Printing my array. This is just a simple example to, to tell you, to give a demonstration about how to pass a one dimensional array to a function. So here in the function call, what did I do? Just I called the function uh, array by using it, just the name of array. See here, automatically when I kept here, it is giving already in the file so it is giving in the size okay so that is the book okay so here when i get here also it is giving directly out of what is okay that so this is declaration and how to have declared just saying it is first value is integer integer array type second value is integer type normal integer type okay and error zero warning and compiling it so this is asking to enter the size of array so I'm entering a five. Enter five array values. Uh, five, six, eight, ten, four. Okay. So what is that given? Five, six, eight, ten, four. What is how we have given? Five, six, eight, ten, four. The values have been given. Is that right? This is how to pass an array to a function. How to pass an array to function? Yeah, understood? Any doubts? Everyone. So can you show the program once? Is it visible? Yes, sir. Just, this is a just a simple demonstration that how to pass a single dimensional array to an array to an function. To an array function. Up to now in the functions we have discussed only a simple direct uh, single value how to pass a single value we have seen. But here we have we have uh, given a demonstration that how to pass whole array whole array 
to a a function. So if you want to give a single value of an array, you can directly give it what is the value you want to pass. For example, uh, what I'm trying to tell you here it is like. There are, uh, if you have declared 10 variables in the array, there is a of 0, a of 1, and so on, a of 9. You want to pass only single value in the array. So just write, just pass in a of, if you want to pass, yeah, just write it. It becomes, it is, it is not, it is not an array, it is a single variable. Remember, it is a single variable. Sorry, it is such a, sorry, for example, print out. Printing of a of five, comma some some x variables. Remember, this is a single variable, a single variable in an array. It is not a total array. I am not passing a total array. I am passing only single. Variable. In that in that situation, you have to declare in sorry uh, print int comma int because this is a single just a single variable of array. Array is single variable. Therefore, it is also integer type. Just you can pass it. You can say it is integer. I'm not passing whole array. I'm passing only single variable in an array. This is to pass a single variable in an array. Okay. Okay. That understood. <coughs> Any doubts? Anyone? So I'm moving further to another concept. Another concept called sorting. So what is the sorting? Sorting is arranging your elements in the increasing order, in the decreasing order is called as sort. But here we, we are going to deal maximum with increasing order. Increasing order. Okay, we are going to deal only with increasing order of your elements. That is the smallest to the largest. Smallest to the largest. That is called as increasing order. The sorting. The elements you are going to sort. If all the elements are jumbled or any other way, so if you want to go write a logic, you sort it out in the sorting the increasing order of the program. We have many sorting techniques. We have many sorting techniques. Techniques, but in our syllabus, we have sorting techniques. What is that sorting techniques? Bubble sort, bubble sort, and selection sort. Bubble sort and selection sort. So both are so uh, they'll be equivalent somewhere in the equal, but so compared to the bubble search, the selection search are very uh, like, very like what you say very useful. Uh, what to say? What can what can say? Uh, which is greater? So which is less less complex? With less complexity of uh, than bubble search, but bubble search is easy to understand. Selection search somewhat. Will be there somewhat higher. Okay. Bubble sort. So bubble sort is a sorting technique where it will be sorts the elements in the order, in the order, in the order of swapping, in the logic of swapping, in the logic of swapping. What is that? So for example, if you stand in the line, so for example, you're going to stand in the line. If you want to make you want to make uh, people to be increasing order. What are you going to do? So, for example, we are going to compare this first fellow with a previous fellow. For example, there is a the uh, students are standard here. Uh, for example, the students are standard here. You want to make them to be stand in the increasing order of their heights. What are you going to do? You compare this fellow's height with the uh, next fellow's height. If this this fellow height is very less less than this fellow height. You're going to move this fellow, the second fellow, first fellow with the second fellow, compare the second first fellow with the second fellow. You move this first fellow, the second fellow to the front, and we move the first fellow to back. 
So we're going to compare like this, and we're going to do the same way, the same logic we are going to use in the public side. And we're going to uh, check the uh, like the height. For example, here we are going to check the height with the next immediate next fellow. So the same way, after comparing, so we are going to check with the immediate next fellow. If this, this fellow is higher, height, uh, less height, less height, sir, less height. I'm going to bring out this fellow to here. I'm going to bring out this fellow. That is what you mean by this. We are going to swap him out. The same way, same logic. I'm going to use here my the bubble sort. Bubble sort. What I'm going to do is, for example, the elements are uh, three, two, five, uh, four, uh, six, and one. These are the elements in my uh, like app. What I'm going to check is, I'm going to check this fellow, this first fellow, the second fellow, whether whether this second fellow, this this first fellow or the second fellow is uh, is greater than the first second fellow. This first fellow, that means first fellow, first fellow is greater than second fellow. First fellow is greater than second fellow. I'm going to swap out the second fellow, this to first place, next place to here. That means two. Three, five, four, six, one. In the next time, where are there? I'm the only here. I've stopped here. I'm there. And again, I'll compare this fellow with this, this uh, next fellow. So whether this two are, which is like whether this uh, fellow is greater than this fellow. No, it is not. So I'll increment the, my the loop. I'll increment my loop. And whether this fellow is greater than this fellow, yes. The first fellow is greater than this fellow. Therefore, I'm going to stop. Two, three, four. Five. That is, I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here. Five, six, one. Where I'm here, I'm starting here. So again, I'm going to check this fellow with this fellow. Whether this fellow is greater than this fellow? No, it is not. So therefore, I'm going to increment the my. So again, I'll check with this fellow with this fellow. This fellow is very, uh, high, uh, greater than this fellow. Therefore, two, three, four, five, one, six. I'm going to start. Here. So like this, I'm going to go and do for all the elements, all the elements, all the elements. So this is called as bubble sort, bubble sort. This is only the logic I've done. And the techniques I'll explain detailly. Technique I'll explain in detail. Okay. I, we have running out of time. I'll explain this in the next class. If at all if anyone is interested, please go through the logic. Okay, go through the logic. And other thing is, uh, tomorrow we have a lab. Tomorrow we have a lab. In that lab, we are going to implement. We are going to implement your bubble search, sorry, binary search and the linear search uh, in the normal way and then using a function. Normal way as well as using a function. Okay. Sir, we have test in the next hour, so can you leave us early? Somewhere? Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm stopping. Rule number 71, Present, sir. 72, Present, sir. 73, Present, sir. 74, Present, sir. 75, Present, sir. 76, Present, sir. 77, Present, sir. 78, who is, who is responding? Present. You can go. You can leave. 78, 79, Present, sir. 80, Present, sir. 81. Present, sir. 82. 82. Present, 83. Present, sir. 84. Present, sir. 85. Present, sir. 86. Present, sir. 87. Present, sir. 88. Present, sir. 89. Present, sir. 90. Present, sir. 91. Present, sir. 92. Present, sir. 93. Present, sir. 94. Present, sir. 
97 yes sir 98 madhu 99 present sir 100 present sir 101 101 102 present sir 103 present sir 104 present sir 105 present sir 105 okay 104 106 okay okay present 106 present sir 107 yes sir 108 108 108 present sir 109 109 109 Okay, one fifteen present. One seventeen. One seventeen present, sir. One eighteen. Present, sir. One nineteen. Present, sir. One twenty. Present, sir. One twenty one. Yes, sir. One twenty two. Gautam. One twenty two absent. One twenty three. Present, sir. One twenty four. Present, sir. One twenty five. One twenty five. One twenty six. Present, sir. One twenty seven. Yes, present, sir. One twenty eight. Present, sir. One twenty nine. Present, sir. One thirty. Present, sir. One thirty one. Present, sir. One thirty two. Present, sir. One thirty three. Present, sir. All can leave.